right here. I was just uh, writing down my notes and also scribbling some doodles. But uh, as we look at Tyler, we hit 108 degrees. That is, <laughs> as reported in the climate report, the National Weather Service issues every yeah, you know, about five o'clock every yeah, day and yeah. then they issue one in the morning for any updates. It could be but hotter. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be worse. The all time record high is 110. 2011, that was the previous record of 106. So let's go ahead and get to this, <coughs> folks. We have now seen 12 days of 100 in five degrees or hotter this month. We had that nice reprieve on the 15th and 16th. Well, that's no longer the case and it could get worse. Neil's exactly right. Now, tomorrow I've got my high temperature for Tyler at 108. We push 109 on Sunday. The all time record 110 degrees at Tyler. We did that in 2011. Now, Longview, it's going to be a little more far fetched. We hit 113 in the 30s, but Saturday and Sunday we're going to be at 108 both of those days. And then as we look at Lufkin, 107 for Saturday, 109 for Sunday. Back in 2000, we hit 110 degrees. Now for the triple tracker, adding one more as compared to yesterday, because all locations have already exceeded 100 degrees. We have now seen 29 days in Tyler. That's a leap year, February. 22 in Longview, 33 in Lufkin, and these numbers, they are going to increase significantly over the next week. Just wait and see what I have in my seven day forecast. Lots of sunshine in Longview as we look at the temperature. We're at 106. That was a degree shy of the high temperature today. That happened to be 107. And as we look at the remainder of our numbers here, 106 from Atlanta, Texas, all the way to Sulphur Springs at 106. Equipment, it's so hot that the uh, temperature thermometer broke there. It's 106 in Mineola. It's 106 at Tyler Pounds Airport, 107 in Overton. And as we look further to the South Nacogdoches at 104. It's 106 in Appleby, 106 in Lufkin, 105 for Trinity and Groveton. Excessive heat warning. It's been extended to include tomorrow. That means dangerous heat. Be very careful. Frequent breaks. Check on your neighbors. Check on the elderly. Keep the dogs inside. Keep yourself inside. Area of high pressure continues to build, and that's going to be the culprit for this weekend. So not only will it be hot for the remainder of today, it's going to be hot for Saturday and Sunday as well. Lots of sunshine, record breaking high temperatures, lows will get a little bit of relief at night, but not a ton. Lows will be in the lower 80s. Okay, here could be our saving grace. We are tracking the tropics for some Gulf moisture, some showers and thunderstorms in the Bahamas right now. Over the next few days, that will be moving into the Gulf of Mexico, and as it does, it's going to move into a more favorable environment for developing. It's this orange region right here is where we have a 40% chance of either a tropical depression or a tropical storm developing, and that could bring some rain along the Texas Gulf Coast. At this point, most of the models suggest that this is going to travel to the south of East Texas, but deep East Texas could see a few isolated showers next week thanks to that Gulf moisture. Triple digits through next Friday, slim rain chances Thursday and Friday for East Texas. We shift a little to the south in deep East Texas. We will be in the triple digits all of next week with a slim chance at a pop-up tropical shower. Neil. All right, here we are.